Hey guys, it's Tracy again. So I do have another haul for you because me and my sister did go to the Mall of America um, last Friday. So I have a lot of actually beauty products to show you, which usually when I go to the mall, I don't buy a lot of beauty products. I usually buy clothing and stuff. So first I will be getting into Bath and Body. And I don't know why she gave me such a big bag. I really did find that much stuff. So, the first thing I got was a Sweet Macaroon candle. Um, they were having a sale, so I just decided to pick up some scents that I haven't tried before. Um, I don't really like any of their spring collection. It's a lot of fruity scents, and sometimes that makes me get a little headache when I burn them. So... This one smells like um, like a brown sugar and a cinnamon and it says uh, a, fr a unforgettable French cookie, raspberry jam, almond extract, vanilla ice cream, and a hint of lemon. So I got that one. And they were having their 2 for 22 sale when we went. And I got the autumn day candle. When this first came out, I did not like it, but after smelling it, it's definitely more of a man's scent, I think, but it does smell really good. It's got fresh cut cider, juicy fig, and sandalwood, and I really, really like um, sandalwood a lot. So I got that. And now I kind of wish I picked up more of these because I really do like this set now. I just... My nose must, for that day when I went there for fall, must not have been working properly. And then they were having another sale. So I stocked up on their body scrubs because I really liked my Sweet Pea one. And usually they're $14 a piece and I do not want to pay $14 for a bath scrub. I can go get my um, soft, my body soft uh, coconut stuff at um Walmart for like four dollars so I got three of these it, you get three for like fifteen dollars I think it was at the store that we went to and I just got the pink chiffon because the, uh, they didn't have sweet pea and I would have gotten that but um this one smells really really good too it's definitely a fruity girly scent so I got three of those and then I was getting, they did have um, five for 15, I think it was, or five for 20. I can't, I don't actually, I don't remember. But um, I decided to get some hand, or, um, hand wash, and these are more for like one would be in the bathroom and then the rest of them would be more in the kitchen. So I did get two man kitchen mandarins. And these smell awesome. They smell so, so good. I mean, they, I swear, it smells like um, an orange sweet tart. And I'm not a big orange, I'm not a big fan of orange. But these, like, ugh, they smell so good. Like, oh, it's awesome. So I got two of those. And I got two of the kitchen lemon. And these smell like lemonade. Oh. They smell so, so good. Mm. I would definitely repurchase this and this one um, for for your kitchen, definitely. And then for like a bathroom scent, I got their Island Breeze. And this is one of their new scents for um, spring and summer. And it's just got a nice, real fresh, clean scent. Um... It's got honey, coconut, and olive fruit in it, and it just, it smells really good, and I think it's, and if you live with a boy or something, I think this would be A-OK -okay in the bathroom, because you don't want to make it super girly and be like, oh, like all flirty and stuff. No, guys don't like that, and I mean, you know, you gotta, if you live with a boy, you need to sometimes tone it down a little bit. So... The next place I went to was 
Hollister. And I just got one thing at Hollister. I did do, I took a lot of clothing to the Salvation Army. And I took a lot of like my, um, just a whole, like just a whole bunch of stuff. So I did want to get another pair of just lounge pants. So I got these cute pink ones and they've got green on the side, which are green is my favorite color, especially like the lime green. And these were originally uh, $35, but I got them for $25. So I got that. And the next place, gotta go to Forever 21. And I did pick up some jewelry and a little other things. I did get this. I did get this bracelet. I saw it there the last time I was there and I didn't get it because it was a little chunky and I know that we're going to be going into summer but I just decided to pick it up anyways. I did get a couple of hair bows and I just thought they were super cute so I'm going to try to incorporate hair bowls into my style because they are adorable and I got the little pink ones and I did end up getting a necklace and this is very heavy and I just thought the blue color was really pretty and it's gold so I got that and then I also got this ring with little spikes on it and I have a shirt that has spikes on it so I thought this would be perfect to wear with that and then the last thing I got was just this little anchor in my last haul you saw me get earrings for earrings and the earrings are in silver but I couldn't find it in silver so I just got the gold so I got that so that was it for Forever 21. Um, I guess I can show you... Ooh. Breaking shit. I went to... Macy's. And Macy's was kind of like, oh, we'll just go and look, but we're not going to buy anything in there. Well, what happened was I decided to get another pair of coach shoes. And I do have a black pair, which I love to death. But sometimes when I wear outfits, I don't want to have to wear a black shoe. So I decided to get a brown pair of their shoes. So that's what they look like. And I was really, really happy with this purchase because they were on sale and I had a 15% um, off coupon. And this was the last thing we purchased at the mall and it was so funny because they were like closing the mall on us and we're like, no, no, I need to get these shoes. All I have to do is try on a size 8 and I'll be good, I promise. So the lady followed up, followed through for me and this was the last purchase I got and I'm so happy I got them because they are gorgeous. And I love coach shoes. They're so comfortable. A lot of people say that they they don't have a lot of support. I have um, flat feet, so for me, they work amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay. Now for beauty. I did go a little crazy on my beauty products, but I really wanted to try some new stuff. So let's get into it. So I did go to MAC. And I've been wanting these for the longest time, so I finally uh, broke down and did grab them. I got um, Soft and Gentle Highlighting Highlighter, and this is so pretty, you guys. Like, I tried to get it at Nordstrom when I first got my MAC foundation, but they were completely out, and so I decided to go to the MAC counter and then pick them up so pretty. 
It's actually pretty highly, especially in the summer. It'll be so pretty. And the next thing I got was a lipstick in Snab. Because everyone's been raving about this. There's a girl on on YouTube. and I, her, her name is so hard to say. But she wears it all the time in her um, tutorials and like her get ready with me's. And I really, really wanted to try it. I thought it was an awesome, awesome color. It's definitely a light pink, which I do like. And it's very, very pigmented. Uh, and the next thing is, I, everyone's been talking about the Nikki or the Glam Nikki 2. So I had to, I had to get it. I wasn't going to because I was going to get the Snob in the Snob lip gloss to go with it. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to pick it up anyways. So pretty. And um, I did swatch it on myself, and it did look really, really nice. So those were my purchases from MAC, which I'm really, really excited about and really excited to try. Next place I went to was Sephora. This is the first time I've ever, I think, bought anything from Sephora. I have bought things online, but I've never bought anything in their store. And they're really, really nice and helpful, and I did get a couple of samples because I didn't want to pay full price for um a brand if i really really didn't like it so the first thing i did get was the tart um, high performance naturals and you get their uh clear slate uh poreless primer you get their amazonian clay bb cream which i'm kind of excited to try i don't know what um color it is but i am get wanting to try that and you get a mascara i have not tried a lot of tart product so I'm excited to try this and this was like only $12 so not too bad and then I have been trying to find a really really good concealer that does increase under my eyes so I did pick up the Benefit Cake Up and I did get it in light I'm hoping this is um, going to be good I asked the lady she said if you really don't like it you can always bring it back so that's a good thing and then I did get a couple of samples I got um, the Ven Benefit pa Erase Paste, and I think I got it in number two, which I've been wanting to try, but for $26, I didn't, and for buying this, I really didn't want to buy both. And then I did get the Kat Von D um, Locket Concealer, and I've been wanting, wanting to try so bad the Kat Von D Foundation, and I am an N56 uh, with the lady, um, matched me as and I'm so excited to try this because a lot of people that have oily skin on YouTube have been raving about it and I love a matte finish I don't like to be shiny I don't like to have that dewy finish so I am totally excited to try this and if I love it I'm definitely going back to purchase a full bottle so that's what I got from Sephora I did go to Bare Minerals um, I've never used bare minerals. I've never used bare minerals before, um, so this was my first purchase. There's a lady on here, um, Laura Vitali. I love her videos. She's so sweet, and um, she does a lot of cooking videos. But she's starting to do more uh, beauty videos, which is awesome because I love her. She's adorable, and she's like um, around my age, which is really nice. So she says that she has a lot of um, dark circles under her eyes and stuff. And one product that she loves to use is well rested so I decided um, to get it and to try it out and it was only like $18 which was really really nice so that and well rested and what she does she says she just puts it on very very little with a fluffy brush and she says it makes the world of difference so I'm really 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 excited to try this so that's the only thing I got there and then my biggest purchase, which I'm so excited to show you guys, that's why I did it, that's why it's last. I did a huge haul, or not a huge, not a huge shopping spree, but I did a huge thing at uh, Sigma. I'm not talking about. I finally broke down, and I told you guys I really, really wanted a brush set from them, so I decided I am going to go out and I'm going to buy it. So this was my huge, huge purchase. 
I did get their brush set. I got their um, Mr. Bunny set, which is super cute. I wanted to get a colored set from them, but they said that it was all natural. And I think I might be, I think I might be allergic to um, regular, like um, real animal fur brushes because I've been using a couple of um, real brushes and I've been getting like little bumps and stuff where my eyes are so that made me a little nervous so I decided to get the synthetic ones because I did this was like a hundred and twenty some dollars so this opens like this, like this and then you have all your brushes in here and you get like a little holder set You get a large powder brush, a large angle contour brush. I should took all these. Sorry, guys. I should took all these out before, but I didn't want to. Got an eyeliner brush. Got a small angled brush. Got a pencil brush, which I don't have one of these yet, and I really want to try it because. Doing like the smoky eye, I think would be awesome. I got a medium angled brush, which I think would be good for like the concealer. I got a fluffy brush, blended or tapered blending brush. I got a large shader brush. Not the concealer brush. Foundation brush, which I don't really use that much. Eye sh shading brush. And a duo fiber brush. So, those are all the brushes I got. I'm super excited to try them. So, that. And then, they do have a new product that I couldn't pass up. I did end up getting their um, brush spa um, for cleaning your brushes. It's a glove. Um, Emily Knowles did a how-to on this and I have that in my favorites and saved. So when I have it, I know what I'm doing. So it's like that and it's got like a little fiber so it's nice and comfortable for you. And it just has all these different textures on it to clean your brushes and the nice thing is is it tells you like how um this is rinse and this is wash like it's really really nice so that is the end of my haul i hope you guys enjoy it and um what i'm wearing today is just a real light eye with like a real big bold lip i kind of wanted to be like you know like um a little bit hollywood old glam today so you know I decided why not so I hope you all are having a really really great day and I'll talk to you guys later bye